cold today. Yeah. This morning, really. Um, we're warming up, though, nicely today. Once that sun comes up, which it will do in like 30 minutes from now, and we'll see plenty of it today, but not going to last into the entire weekend, unfortunately. We have some changes coming. Um, that's along a cold front. That's going to bring us some rain showers, not widespread heavy rain for a long duration of time. We're talking maybe up to two tenths of an inch of rain, which really is not a ton. It's out of here by 1, 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, so we'll start to clear things out in the afternoon. 50-50 weekend ahead with Sunday being sunny, breezy and much colder with temperatures in the upper 50s at that point. Tomorrow we're talking highs in the low 70s. We're at 44 at the airport now. That number usually runs pretty warm, but even that's pretty chilly this morning because look what's, at, what's waiting inland. It's 34 in Chesapeake, uh, 42 Newport News, 40, uh, 37 excuse me in Hoski, 36 in Gatesville, and uh, good morning in Hampton at 42. So we do have a few frost advisories out there, mainly just off towards the west in the interior counties, uh, 3 a.m. until 9 a.m. And then things will really start to warm up nicely. We have high pressure control, light winds, clear skies. That's what allowed those temperatures to really dip so far down into the 30s for the first time in months, really since last spring. And here we go through the day. We'll watch our winds slowly start to shift out of the south as high pressure pushes east and offshore. And our numbers respond. Middle to upper 60s this afternoon, pretty close to where we should be this time of the year. And then we'll start off clear tonight. Temperatures falling back into the mid to upper 50s, not nearly as cold thanks to our winds out of the south. And then the clouds roll on in. They lower, thicken, and eventually lead to some showers developing. Notice here they are not widespread. They're not particularly heavy, but they will be in the vicinity right through late morning and early afternoon. Then the actual front blows through with a little more widespread rain and heavier rain, especially to the south and east. But it looks to clear the area by early to mid afternoon from northwest to southeast. And then we bring in better conditions for the overnight time frame. And certainly by Sunday with those winds out of the northwest, you're going to feel that chill back into the air that we're feeling this morning. We're at 68 this afternoon, cold start leading to a sunny and milder afternoon 58 tonight increasing clouds with showers by morning and this weekend outlook 73 on Saturday showers up to early afternoon again not widespread or really that heavy Sunday cool breezy and sunny and if you're looking for something to do this weekend I got a few suggestions for you here we're going to go through each one so take out the pad and paper <laughs> Commonwealth Coastal Classic that's tomorrow noon to five in Norfolk the Virginia Beach Craft Beer Festival in Virginia Beach at 30th Street on the beach there, Saturday and Sunday. So if you went to the Wine Fest, Commonwealth Coastal Classic on Saturday, then go over to Virginia Beach on Sunday, have a few IPAs, you know, maybe a Hefeweizen. Oh. We'll see. <laughs> OBX Seafood Festival also going on in Nags Head. You don't want to go that far south, go to Pocosin. They're having their own seafood festival too. Wow. I mean, literally everything's going on this weekend. That starts tonight and they actually have fireworks. And then the Fall Town Point Wine Festival as well. Town Point, oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. I can't handle it. It's overload. By early next week, we're sunny, dry, and warming things back up to around 70 on Tuesday. Christina?